Greetings everyone, this is Silent Doom, and I'm here to bring you a let's play of my favourite game of all time, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog 1 came out in 1992, I'm playing this on the Sonic Mega Collection though, the GameCube version, but I'm playing it on my Wii. Anyway, options many. You can play as Sonic and Tails, Sonic Alone, or Tails Alone. I shall be playing as Sonic Alone because that is how I always play. Anyway, Emerald Hill Zone Act 1, first level of the game, great way to ease us into things. It's bright, it's essentially a Green Hill clone. But it's still a great level, nice sense of speed you can get in this level. As I am kind of demonstrating here. Die. Ha ha ha. The speed! Uh, yeah, this level, I can, I can, I can blitz through this level pretty well. Um, don't expect that constantly through the Let's Play though. I, I, I'm warning you now, I'm... Uh, <laughs> expect a steady decline in quality. And we gotta continue, yay! Nintendo, I demand we play as to continue in the next Smash Brothers game. I so didn't steal that from Solaris Paradox, no, not at all. Anyway, Act 2. <laughs> Ring box. Get. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a this is a great level. I have the I have the level design pretty much memorized to be honest. Uh, secret little thing here with some rings. Go to the left. You can find a checkpoint. I will not be doing the special stages this run. Uh, I don't want to get any of the chaos emeralds on this run. I can usually get them all really easily. So don't think it's because I'm like bad at the game that I'm not bothering with the chaos emeralds. I can usually get them all in great in Emerald Hill because I'm that pro at the game. I'm always a bit cautious here about landing on those spikes. Uh, nice physics abuse there. And jump. There we go. Yeah. If you time a jump right there, you can go up that slope. Bunch of rings. Avoid the coconuts. Obviously. Oh, fuck you. And there's another checkpoint here. There are five checkpoints in this level. Oh, stupid boss bomber. I don't really care. I got the lives that I wanted. And we are up to the first boss. The drill robot. Insanely easy. I don't know why I got hit before. I'm so annoyed. If I get hit by this, I will I will cry. Yeah. That hits. Just keep bouncing on it. Don't get hit by the fuck me drill. The front. Wow. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You hit me. I'll stand here and rethink my life. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm a sad bunny. <laughs> but yeah, that's act two. Beat the boss. That was a flop. On to chemical plant. AKA. Speed! What the hell? Go that get the get the bitch bear. That. But yeah, this level is um very speed crazy. It's probably the fastest level in the game overall. And it's the level that introduced what will become a staple in the series, the speed booster. Used to death in modern Sonic games now. Speed! But they're used cleverly here, like unlike in modern Sonic games, like where they're basically abused. Sonic 4 abuses speed boosters quite a bit. Sonic 4 is alright, but you know, I would have loved for the level design to be a little more freeful, but not abuse speed boosters all the time. Sorry if my voice is a little off, by the way. I have a cold. I always have a cold. I don't think there has ever been a time in my life where I didn't feel slightly ill. <sighs> Up here, get some speed, and there's a hidden life here. Uh, that's a pretty obvious hidden life. Not as hidden away as the other one, where you have to time your jump and stuff. <sighs> I'm still on the way to get hit by that stupid bus bomber. And now I take the bottom... You see... I can't consistently get up that top route. 
Like, is there a way to do that consistently? I really don't know. There's more rings on that route, which is why I would go up there, but it's a little faster. I also love this game's soundtrack. It's one of my favorite video game soundtracks of like all time. It's just so it's so wonderful, like there's a real sense of like depth to the soundtrack. I actually I prefer this Sonic 1's Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors soundtracks. Some of my favorite in the series favorites in the series. I definitely prefer this over Sonic 3 soundtrack. Like in this game every soundtrack I really enjoy listening to, but in Sonic 3 there's some tracks I really don't really like. Hit the speed booster. Go! Like, I don't like Carnival Knight's track at all. There's some tracks that I think are quite overrated as well. Like Lava Reefs. Never really got into that. And there's just a few things in general that I prefer with this game over Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> Anyway, boss time. Easiest boss ever. Just stay here and... Oh! Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I counted seven hits there. I did that on the test before. Anyway. Do the swig! 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 Yeah, let's do this! And that's the end of Act 2, Chemical Plant. the swig. Now onto Aquatic Ruin Zone, aka the water level of this game. It has some quite evil bad nick placements, if you don't know the level, but if you do know them, it's not really an issue. Although, I'll probably get hit anyway, because I suck. Another music track I really like. Oh god, come back, come back, come back, floating platform, come back here, there we go. Die. <laughs> Whee! So yeah, if you stay at the top route, this, this water level is really cool because if you stay up the top route, you can avoid the water completely. Much like in Chemical Plant, if you take that secret route that I took, then you avoid the water completely. You avoid that purple water completely, which is really awesome. That is what I like about this these level designs, the how multi tiered they are. They are even excuse me. And you know, there's some really nice room to like explore them and it feels like every time I play this game I find something slightly different about the levels. <laughs> Another one. There we go. Now we're almost at the top. I can reach that. Come on. Get a bit of a running start. There we go. And now we're at the absolute top route. This level is also really nice. There is one thing that bothers me about the look though, and it's the the background, how it's just solid blue. But um the sky of the background that is. But apart from that, it's really nice to look at in my opinion. See, and now we've just conquered the water level without even touching the water. Anyway, Aquatic Ruin boss. Oh fuck, I fell. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Uh, that's, that happens. Yeah, he's dead. It's not very hard. Usually what they want you to do is jump off those arrows, but you can just stay on the columns if you're decent. Not the best demonstration. Do the swig! Do the swig! Do the swig! Do I know what a swig is? No, it's, it's, it's um, probably the stig and a twig. They made out and it, 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 they made a dance and it came up with this. Anyway, Casino Night Act 1. Let's go. This is the pinball level, the iconic pinball level. Another level that looks amazing. I mean, just look at that background, it's crazy. And bounce. Yes! There we go. Awesome.
and yet another catchy music piece. This, and another staple of the series, compulsive gambling. This machine in particular is cool because I'm pretty sure in this machine there's an increased chance of jack getting jackpots and general successes. I'll do it once more to try and demonstrate. But I'm pretty sure this machine has an in increased chance of jackpot. In other machines you almost, you very rarely get it, but that specific one, you can get it all the time. Shame I couldn't stay on that top route though, but it doesn't matter. Come on platforms, let's go. There is the occasional moment where it's a bit slow, but overall it's definitely faster than Sonic 1. Like Sonic 1 had levels like Marble Zone and Labyrinth Zone, which were just slow. Like really slow. And the overall pace of um, Sonic 1 was rather all over the place, like, you know, you, you start off in Green Hill, which is a really fast and fun level, and then you go to Labyrinth, which is really slow and plodding, and it doesn't really suit Sonic's gameplay style, I hate this section. <sighs> there we go, got that. And then you go to Spring Yard, which is like, kind of fast. Wait. Pretty sure, there we go, secret area, with a life. Yeah, sometimes I'm not entirely sure about that one. Oh gosh. One more ring, come on, we can do it. There we go. Oh, what the, no, come on. Let's go. points. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention, every 50,000 points of your total score that you reach, um, you get an extra life. So that's, that's, that's neat. So right now we're on 86,000, once we reach 100,000, we'll get an extra life. Another thing I love about this game in general is how satisfying it is to bounce on stuff. That's one of the, that's one of the things that really made Sonic, differentiated him, and made him more than just like a fast Mario clone. You know, the physics. The physics coupled with the level design. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not just the ability to bounce on stuff, but the opportunity to bounce on it. Which is something that Sonic 4 Episode 2 lacked, for example. I mean, it got... Sonic 4 Episode 2 improved upon Episode 1. It improved upon the physics, but it didn't get the level design right, so those physics alterations, you weren't really able to make complete use of them. Ah, uh, sorry. Anyway, Act 2. Up here, ten ring box, bounce down, bam. Boy. Another thing lacking in uh, episode 2 was unique level gimmicks that um, the classics had. Like. Oh, fuck. Uh, down and up. There we go. Oh, and yet another. Oh my god. I, I really don't want to spend this whole LP bashing Sonic 4 because, you know, that wouldn't be fun. Because it's not even a bad game, it's not a terrible game at all. It's just not as good as these ones. But then again, most of the far uh, middle path, that's alright. Oh, can I make it back up? No, I can't. Oh, damn it. That's that's evil. That's, that's a that's a cock tease. That's... No, actually... Oh, damn it. Whoa, hello. I never knew about this. That is cool. Now, there's another thing I love about these games. You're discovering new stuff every time you play. At least that's how I feel when I play it, anyway. And I've played this a lot. I've played this game loads. The only other game that I've played as much probably is Super Smash Bros. Pro. <laughs> and that's mainly because, obviously, you guys are sub to subscribe to me. I mod Pro a hell of a lot. Ah, 
Ah, this wonderful, wonderful game. And it's just such memorable level designs as well. Um, another thing I prefer over this, over Sonic 3 and Knuckles, is the levels for me don't really drag as much. Like, all of the levels in this are of a nice length, a nice, concise, to the point length. But in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, there's a couple of levels that feel like they drag. Like, um, Sandopolis, Marble Garden. But on to the third boss of the, uh, fourth boss even of the game. This machine. It's a little trickier than other bosses. Just keep running up the walls and wow, that's probably the best I've ever done that boss. And you can keep hitting him. Don't use those flippers because you'll get hit by the electric stuff underneath. That is the end of the level. Woot, 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 woot. And yeah, that's the end of Casino Night. On to Hilltop Zone next.